Hey guys, this is Mateus Kinteri. I'm a professional musician here in Nashville, Tennessee, where playing hot chicken picking licks is the only way to survive. And today I want to talk about arpeggios, specifically dominant arpeggios, because in country music there's a lot of dominant chords, which are uh, major chords, so root, major third, fifth, plus the flat seven. Uh, so first I'm going to show you four ways to play a dominant arpeggio. Uh, but we're mostly going to use three of them today, but the fourth one might be useful on a different situation. So let's get to it. So now let's imagine that we're playing over like a, a blues progression. We can start like practicing these arpeggios, trying to come up with like solos using the arpeggios only, no scales, just the notes from the arpeggio. And this is so useful because it helps you get to know better each chord. And every note in the arpeggio is being played in the chord. So that means that those are really good notes for you to emphasize when you're soloing. Let's say when, later on when you're using a, a full scale or pentatonic, passing tones, all that stuff. The notes from the arpeggio are still the ones you want to emphasize most of the time. So it's very useful to practice them. So the one thing I want to point out when practicing arpeggios is pay attention to how they connect to each other. Like so if we're doing a blues in A, we're going to play in A for four bars and then we're going to go to D. So pay attention to the where you can make like a really cool transition. You know, observing those things makes all the difference uh, to your phrasing. It, it really helps you like connect the dots in a way that sounds more musical and less like you're always starting from the root and then it sounds more like an exercise, if that makes sense. So let me show you an example. If you're playing uh, four bars in A and then you go to D, So notice how I went from the major third here of the A to the root in D and they're very close to each other so paying attention to those details makes all the difference so you can do that connection you know and then I'm in D now uh, if you're playing in D you have this cool little um, thing here going on you have the root the flat seven but if you're going back to A the major third is right in between those two notes so you see like I did a little phrase in D and back to A so those things make all the difference the other thing you can do to these arpeggios is add like approaching notes so notes from outside the arpeggio the scale whatever it doesn't mean anything doesn't you don't have to be thinking about scales all the time you're just approaching the notes of the arpeggio for example so so that's the just the the a dominant arpeggio with some approaching notes um, you can also like do some chromatic lines for example you can do on on the over the d chord you can do So that adds another level of complexity to it, but still you're only thinking about the arpeggios, you know, all the rest is just passing tones in between, as long as you don't stop or rest on, on, on any of them, don't emphasize it too much, it sounds musical. Here's another really cool connection using the last two strings of all these arpeggios. So we can do something like over A here. When it changes to D, all I gotta do is move these two fingers. Back to A. 
E. And back to A. I'm gonna just play a solo now to wrap it up. I'm just gonna play like a 12 bar blues using arpeggios only and I might throw in some of those chromatic uh, passing tones just for you to uh, have an idea of what you can do with it. I'm not gonna transcribe this but the whole point is not to learn this like note for note but just to kind of like get the whole concept of how to apply this in a musical way so you can develop it your own way so as long as you know the arpeggios the basic arpeggios then the rest of it is just having fun and experimenting with it and it does take time you're not gonna have this like overnight but just keep practicing and you get there so let's do this <laughs> So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Uh, make sure you check out my playlist of free country guitar lessons. If you want to learn more, I also have some links for you in the description. Uh, check out my latest EP. It's on all streaming platforms. It's called Bold Traveler. Make sure you subscribe, click like, and share this video with your friends. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.